Ollie, I think you'd have to give them a wave to keep them yeah. quiet. <laughs> what, but what is, you know, they are a big, big part of this club. You know, this singing section here today was that kept the players going, kept everyone going in the belief. Because that is what you do at Man United in the, on a Champions League night. And there were some grumbles earlier in the first half. There were some boos as well. So you, you, I but saw the, you applauding but, them on the but, way out. But these, they, this corner here, yeah. they're, the, they're the best in the world. And of course, there, there's a bit of time when you think, you know, you're, you're a bit down as a supporter, but these keep going. How's your blood pressure anyway? That... No, I'm, I'm, I'm good, you know. It's, um, I thought we played well first half as well. You know, we just two chances, two goals. That's it, it has to stop if we are to uh, survive past 50. But this team is quite remarkable for comebacks. You can't keep doing this to yourselves. No, but that's, you know, we've got a habit of doing this at this club. And, but as I said, I thought we played well. And then out of nothing, they scored the first goal. And then another set play, a goal. But they never kept believing, they never stopped believing. They kept on going, made a few mistakes, yeah, but we kept going. And they were, they looked like they were playing for you. I know, I know it's been a rocky old week. <laughs> don't even start. That you know, you they, know that's true, though, because no, they, you can see a collective don't, character. Don't disrespect the players. They play for Man United, and they, they know they're the luckiest, luckiest men in the world. And I said that to them, that tonight they're the luckiest men in the world because they've... The 11 plus the subs, they're the ones that can play for Man United. And that's what so many millions of boys and girls want to do. Marcus Rashford lit the fire, didn't he? Yeah. No, I thought, with that goal. you know, we had chances first half. Marcus just runs and he kept on going. And uh, in the end, he, uh, he got a knock, but um, he's, he's going to be very, very important for us. And Harry Maguire looks like he's picked up some uh, finishing tips from Cavani <laughs> and Ronaldo. No, it was an instinctive finish, and uh, you had a miss this morning on uh, when we had uh, when we did the training this morning, and uh, I, I, I don't think you would believe him scoring that one. But we expected Ronaldo to do that. Of course, that's why he's the greatest goal scorer in the Champions League, I suppose. Yeah, he's, he's great in front of goal, and if anyone wants to. Uh, uh, criticise him for work rates or attitude, just watch this game. Just watch how he runs around. What did you say at half-time? Because 2-0 down, bottom of the group at this point. Make, make sure we get the next goal, because we'll win the game. That's just... As long as we don't concede a goal, uh, I was pretty sure we won the game, because we did, did create chances in the first half as well, and uh, it was just about taking them.